Hey everybody, my name's Ed. Okay, I bought some comics, so um, well, we'll just jump into it. We'll just jump into it. Okay, so first I've got Black Hammer number four and number five. Um, I really enjoy this comic. Um, I'm, I'm just, uh, I really regret that I didn't jump on board, you know, like, right when it came out, but, uh, but I've been catching up, haven't read these yet, obviously, but the first three issues are just really amazing, and, uh, just really great, great comic book work here. This cover here, maybe somebody can help me out, but I think, ooh, Trying to get rid of this glare. I think, isn't this like an homage to like an old DC comic or something? I want to say it's like a, a parody of like like Adam Strange or something like that. I'm not 100% certain. Maybe it's just because it's such a... I mean, it looks like it's an homage to something, you know what I mean? I think that's what it is. I want to say it's like an old Adam Strange or maybe an old like Silver Age Green um, Lantern or something like that, but... Okay, all right, Kill or Be Killed, number six, uh, just solid, solid work, really enjoyed the last issue, it ended on a really compelling twist, uh, I was watching Ghost Riddick's um, video, and he was saying that this is probably going to be a, a, a continuing story, which would be interesting, I'm not so sure, I can't see it really lasting beyond um, 25 issues or so, just because of the nature of the story, but who knows, who knows, we'll see, but yeah, just solid, solid work from Ed Baker and uh, Sean Phillips, Green Arrow number 12, um, the, uh, the comic's up to issue 17, you know, and I really haven't been re reading it, but I thought I'd take a chance on it, uh, this is uh, part one of the Emerald Outlaw. It's written by Benjamin Percy and the artist by Otto Schmidt. And uh, and like I said, I really haven't been reading uh, Rebirth Green Arrow. I tried to read the New 52 version and uh, yeah, it was kind of a mess. I, I, the first run was awful. Uh, I read one of the Anna Sinti issues, a little bit better, but it was still pretty whack. Did not read the Jeff Lemire stuff, although I heard um, it was a lot better than the previous two runs. And I kind of hear mixed things about this run. Uh, some people think it's good. Some people say it's just this side of okay. I've seen some other people say that it's all right, but Benjamin Percy might be trying a little bit too hard with the uh, kind of social issues and stuff. But we'll see. I just thought I'd you know, see for myself and give it a try or whatever. Uh, Apollo and Midnighter number five came, yeah, look at all that glare. It came out last week, but, uh, but I didn't get it when I got to the store, it was sold out, and I had the guy get another, uh, copy for me. Uh, really enjoying it for people who don't know, basically the story is, uh, Apollo has gone to hell. And Midnighter is doing everything he can to go to hell and uh, rescue him from, uh, uh, what's his face, uh, Neron or Neron, however you say his name, who is DC's version of Mephisto or the devil by any other name. So, yeah, really enjoying it. This is five of six, so, okay. Uh, Wildstorm number one. Uh, really looking forward to reading this. This is Warren Ellis' sort of reinterpretation of all the old Wildstorm characters, Wildcats, and uh, uh, the Authority. And this, I believe, is actually set on, um, it's in its own continuity, so it's done kind of a parallel world or whatever. So it really doesn't uh, affect the kind of New 52 rebirth versions of these characters. So that actually makes it even more intriguing for me because he can kind of go off into whatever, um, you know, direction he wants to. So, but yeah, really looking forward to reading this. Uh, 
Am Odyssey of the Amazons number two is a Wonder Woman spinoff. Basically, it's a prequel, and uh, so we're not really going to see uh, Princess Diana in this. It's basically the story of the Amazons have gone, they've left the island, and they're kind of going around the globe looking for other women to join them, and they're also, you know, they're especially looking for people who might have special gifts and things like that. Uh, it's really interesting. It does really focus on um, women of color who have kind of always been there in the, um, you know, in the kind of Amazon uh, Wonder Woman um, mythos, if you will, at least since uh, the George Perez days. But then they're usually kind of in the background or whatever. Uh, but here they kind of take center stage. So uh, really interesting. It's written by the guy who wrote the Underworld movies. So, okay, Nito King. So, all right. So, yeah. Um, Batwoman number one or Rebirth Batwoman number one. Um, I really think they should be calling these like zero issues because it's basically kind of catching you up with the uh, character and trying to, you know, kind of establish the status quo. And then the next issue will be, you know, Batwoman number one. Um, but we all know why they do it. They know they can get more people buying something if it says number one on the cover than if it says number zero. So there you go. This, oh wait, let's see if it does say here. Uh, I'm pretty sure this cover is by uh, Jai Lee or Jay Lee. Uh, yeah, Jay Lee and Jun Chung variant cover. So that's what we got here. Bonito Keen. Uh, Sam Wilson, Captain America, number 19, more controversy. I believe this issue has the fallout uh, of last issue from Sam Wilson releasing a tape of another superhero, African-American superhero, Rage, being beat up by the cops. And just flipping through it, it looks like he has to actually deal with the legal ramifications of that. So we'll see how that turns out. Uh, Invincible Iron Woman number one, and this one, Riri Williams teams up with Pepper Potts, and it looks like they have to take on some armored bad guys, so that should be fun. And USA Avengers number three. Um, dealing with the Golden Skull. So far, I've been enjoying it. Just lighthearted, fun, action adventure, do gooder type stuff. And finally, Gamora number three. Um, yeah, I'm still on the fence on this comic. It's not a bad comic book, but it's not, it doesn't really grab me. So I'll read this issue, and then after that, I'll decide if I want to keep up with it. I do like this cover, though. So I think that's kind of... I think that's pretty neat. Neat O Keen. Okay, so that's it. Uh, thank you very much for watching. You guys have a great day.